Hi, so in this video, we will create an Azure pipeline to connect to EKS, that is AWS Kubernetes service. So let's get started. So first of all, we'll create a Spring Boot small project. So select Maven and demo EKS. I'm just giving the name and choose a web and generate the file. I just simply copy into my working directory AWS work and here the application is found. So I just extract it and what I will do is I will open is an IntelliJ file new project from existing source and new window okay so first of all i will check whether everything is working looks working so we'll create a small controller demo eks controller so we'll annotate it with rest controller and we'll have one mapping this a get mapping and one method say hello return hello from azure ci cd from aws kubernetes service okay so let's check it if all working fine first of all yeah we have to put get mapping and hello yeah so let's try to run it and test it on a local host it looks working so now in this example normally we do we push build and push the docker uh, image into a docker hub so we'll not use the aws repository for the simplicity so let's go to the docker hub and create a repository Uh, create repository and I'll give name demo EKS. Okay. So repository has created. So now to push the image into repository, I will use the Google Jib Maven plugin. So I will have my in my previous video and I'll just copy and paste over here. You just need to put your own password and we'll have to change this EKS and we'll also need to change this uh, main class method. The class name. Okay. And password you'll have to provide. Uh, this is the username and password for the Docker Hub. So what I will put, I will put here and I will pause the video because I can't share my password. Okay, so looks all good and demo EKS, everything is good. Okay, so now let's refresh so that our plugin Maven library get reflected and we'll try to run this jib and inside jib we'll run the jib build. Okay. So let's try to run. So this may, this is the first time, this may take some time. So I'll pause the video for timing. Okay, so it has uh, completed 
and I will also copy the hem chart folder into my repository from my previous project and I will change some of the parts like value in I will just change to EKS okay so rest of the things are very similar we have seen in the GCP video but if you don't know then the values are the replacement for the placeholders in a different uh, template so templates are a deployment template they are simple uh, Kubernetes template deployment ingress service and in the values we will replace all these values or the placeholders okay so that's so simple it's a very basic ham chart even if you can create with just command line ham chart and that will be the same one okay so again I will check whether we will miss something or not but I guess uh, deployment and everything look good in fact and even if we get an error, error then we'll try to resolve it okay so now so first we have created the project then we have added the hem chart we have pushed repository but we need some other things like AWS Kubernetes service okay so let's go to the AWS console and search for EKS and I already have two cluster but I will create another cluster and so let's uh, create a cluster I'll give the name demo EKS most of the things would be a default one I'll just go with the default VPC you must have some VPC or subnets ready uh, here I will not choose this uh, the E1 because there is a problem with E subnet and F subnet I'll keep very simple to 3 and go again with the default next just go with the default and again next and I will try to create the EKS so this is the status is in the creation creating so again this may take a little while maybe a uh, five ten minutes so I'll pause video for timing now so our cluster has been created so now what we'll do we will create a new project to create an Azure pipeline so go to the dev.azure.com and new project call it demo EKS okay so a new project has been created go to the repo and just select this line but before that we have to initialize our project with git and now copy and paste over there so that our local repo can be attached with the remote one add all git commit and I say first commit and just push it so copy this line and push it okay so now let's go to the repo and check it um, click on the repo now everything is there now set up the build click on the build and just simple maven project because we are using the JDK 1.17 so update it and simply run the pipeline this is just we are gradually in increment the task and one by one so that it will be very easy this may not take more time okay so now we will add some more uh, task by just clicking on this edit button so first of all we will change this to clean compile and zip build and then save it 
and we will add some more task so I will add two more tasks there is a one is publish artifact and another is download artifact for the deployment and then I'll just simply put another task it's a script task it will just uh, sorry it's a helm installer a uh, simple helm CLI will be installed and I will create another task called a script task it is not a more important uh, for project but it is just to uh, check the current if you for the debugging purpose if we face any issue or uh, if you want to see what is happening what kind of directory structures are there in the agent then we can use it and then I will add the deployment task that is a helm deployment okay this is a helm deployment task but here we have EKS connection that we will require and here I will change the release name to the demo EKS so we will create this service connection but before that uh, to create the service connection from Azure to AWS uh, we will require a service account so I have created this kind of service account I'll change I have created actually for the previous one so I'll just change it to demo EKS okay so <clears throat> this is a simple service account and then for that service account we have a secret and that secret we will use for service connection into Azure and then we have a role we are creating a various roles and uh, role and inside that we have lots of uh, rules for deployment, ports, services, secrets, and apps, and then we have a role binding. Okay, so we have an RBAC role binding. So that's it. And now what we'll do? We will go to the command line. But for that, first of all, we'll have to uh, get the credential for this current cluster. So how we can get it? So we'll have to use the AWS CLI tool. So if you are not use the AWS CLI because this is not the course for a fully uh, installation and setup for the AWS we assume that you have already basic setup and installation of the AWS so this is a basic command so what we will have to change is the region and our cluster name so what is our cluster name is demo EKS and our region is if we go to the console and in this corner just click on this in Virginia and it's in US East 1 so what I will do is I'll paste over here and just try it okay so new our config file has been updated so let's check it first of all kubectl version yes no error so client and server we both have and we'll check the nodes as well so yes we have we have not added any nodes so first of all we have to add the nodes in AWS it's not as easy as other servers so what we'll do we'll go to the compute section and node group we add the node group just say demo EKS NG001 and select the role you'll have to create the role for access policy on Azure I already have created the role so I'm not going in that detail I'll go with the default one and create it okay so this way also take a little while time because it will have to the status is still in the creating so once it is done we'll move ahead okay so our node has been created so let's again try into the CLI again this may take time all right so we do have that role so now we have to create a service account so what 
I already have explained this thing. So now we go to this folder and we do have that one cat essay. Okay, so let's try to run it. kubectl apply f essay and let's see. Hopefully, we will not get an error. Yeah, so we got service account, we got secret, we have a role, and then we have a role binding. Okay, so that's it. And now we will get secret and the secret name is deploy demo eks secret and the output in a yml format okay so now again go back to the portal and just go to the cluster and demo eks and just copy this endpoint now let's go to the demo eks and select on the project setting select the service connection create the service connection and go to the kubernetes the so kubernetes go to the next and click on the service account and put this endpoint over here and here this is a secret secret we remember we have just got this and we have to copy till the token and paste over there and give the name AK, EKS connection save it okay so hopefully we have everything ready and let's check first of all if anything is there so come on, uh, just check this this helm command ham list command it will show whatever the deployment are there so currently there are no deployment so uh, go to the pipeline and yeah uh, so we will create a, a new pipeline and we'll try to run it so click on the pipeline and run the pipeline select it and let's wait for some time because this may take a uh, three to four minutes so meanwhile we can go through the pipeline in the repo and so we have done nothing for deployment step this is the only good for a basic deployment for advanced you may have your own parameter and all but this is a good start can try nothing fancy we have just only effect in fact these are the two steps we required match first of all clean compiler zip build this will uh, push our image into the docker and then um, this will deploy so basically this is a combined CI CD pipeline together so let's again wait so I'll pause the video for a couple of minutes and we'll come back again. So pipeline has successfully completed. In ham upgrade with PC, the Kubernetes the, it is already deployed into Kubernetes. And let me actually check whether everything is good or not. kubectl get or we can say helm list okay look like it is running but still we can check oops it ports yeah ports is also running so let's check the locks in the ports and yes our application is running so we'll have to first of all check the deployment or deploys okay yes and then we can check svc that is service so this is the load balancer url so we can copy it and go to the browser 
and pour paste it to here the first time it take time to load but yeah it's it's pretty quick and just put a like, hello yes this is the same string that we have put into the controller and we are happily seeing it same string so we have successfully what we have done we have created our azure pipeline and then we have created an aks cluster and then we have created a spring boot application using the google jeep build we have pushed into the docker hub image and then we have used the ham charts and inside the ham chart we have in the deployment we have pulled the image or uh, the in the value if we go by the value yeah it's a pool image and then we have deployed using the service account so if we go if we do a practice of two to three times it will be pretty easy so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video thank you